thousands of runners are gearing up to race for the Chicago Marathon on Sunday. Weekend downtown yeah. Chicago will be filled with tens of thousands of runners and even more spectators and volunteers for this year's Bank of America Chicago Marathon. The what of the event is as important as what it is for as well as who is attending. With the track and field outdoor season officially done, other runners, both in and out of the limelight, had the chance to showcase their speed and strength. More than 50,000 runners will hit the streets soon enough for the 2024 Bank of America Chicago Marathon. The 42.195 kilometer, 26 mile or 385 yard distance is a challenge for even the most experienced runners on any course. The 46th edition of the Chicago Marathon is dubbed to be a special race with the organizers planning activities to honor the late record holder, Kelvin Kiptum, as this is the first edition since Kiptum smashed the men's world record in the Windy City. In light of this, there had been a moment of silence at the starting line where Kiptum started his epic race last year that took him only 2 hours 35 seconds to finish. Sadly, the 24-year-old died in a car accident four months after his astonishing achievement. Besides the minute of silence at the starting line, there was also an exhibit celebrating his career at the pre-race expo. He's still prevalent in everyone's thoughts. He's with us and it's our plan to celebrate his life. Race director Kerry Pinkowski told Reuters, I was so impressed by his biomechanics and his ability was just effortless. It was like something I've never seen before. And I've seen a lot of the greats. At this year's race, the 50,000 starters displayed memorial stickers for Kiptum, while the men's elite runners looked to take advantage of the fast and flat course to inch closer to his world record. Anyhow, Kenyans are tipped to lead the charge for the men's title, with 2022 London Marathon winner Amos Capruto looking to better his personal best of 2 hours, 3 minutes and 13 seconds in honor of Kiptum. About eight months ago, Capruto was among the one million marathon fans around the world who received the shocking news that Kiptum had died. Capruto is keen on battling the lingering sadness with a great run, which will be his first Chicago marathon. Capruto, who failed in his bid to defend his London marathon title in April 2023, is aiming to put behind a disappointing 2023 when he dropped out at the race in London and faded to seventh in Berlin by running his fastest race ever on the quick course. His teammate Ningetic, a relative newcomer to the marathon, was considered his key challenger. Ngedic, who will lace up for only his third marathon, equaled Capruto's marathon PB of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 13 seconds with his debut in Berlin last year, where he finished second behind Eliud Kipchoge. The Ethiopian pair of Dawit Volde, third at the 2023 Valencia Marathon, and Amdevork Vlelegen, the runner-up at this year's Rotterdam Marathon, should be inspired by their compatriots' dominance at the 2024 Berlin Marathon. Likewise, American CJ Albertsons and Zach Panning, who led most of the Olympic trials before fading to a sixth-place finish, Nathan Martin and Reed Fisher also go into the race with big hopes, after failing to make the Paris 2024 Olympic team. After a heartbreaking Olympic trials, I knew I wanted to run fast this fall. I can't think of a better place to do that than the fastest marathon course in the world," said Panning, who debuted in the marathon in Chicago in 2022. Chicago feels like home. This year, I'm coming to the race with big goals," he added. As for the women's field, Ruth Chepengedic targeted a hat trick in Chicago. Some say that course experience could make all the difference for the 2019 world champion as she seeks to become the first woman to win three times at Chicago. After back-to-back -back victories in 2021 and 2022, and the second place last year, Chepengedic is hoping for a return to the good old days after a crushing ninth in London in April. She's the fastest of the women's professional field with 2 hours, 14 minutes, and 18 seconds, her winning time in 2022. Other returnees from last year's field included Kabede and Jepko Segei, 15th and 4th respectively. I'm extremely happy to come back to Chicago and run on a course that has proven to be very fast, said Kabede, who will be joined in the sub-228 marathon class by fellow Ethiopians Deditu Azamerao, Ashet Bekere, and Hiwot Gebrekidon. 
Americans Kira D'Amato and Betsy Sena will aim to become the first victors from the host nation since Dina Castor in 2005. D'Amato, a former American record holder in the marathon, is making a comeback as a competitor after working as a commentator. Meanwhile, Sina, who had to withdraw from the Chicago Marathon in 2019 due to illness, returns to make her mark. It is also worth noting that the field of around 50,000 runners, once again, included a smattering of stars itching to shine on the sporting stage. Better known for her exploits on stage and screen, Patina Miller laced up her running shoes to take on the Chicago Distance Running Showpiece. Having won a Grammy Award for Best Musical Theater Album in 2023, Miller is back for her third marathon after completing the New York City Marathon in both 2022 and 2023. Miller's movie credits include a role as Commander Paler in The Hunger Games, but it is on the stage where she has really created a name for herself, with starring roles in Sister Act, Hair, and most recently, the Broadway version of Into the Woods. Miller was joined on the start line by another well-known acting star, Claire Holt, whose credits include roles in Mean Girls 2, Pretty Little Liars, and The Vampire Diaries. But the lure of the 2024 Chicago Marathon isn't limited to the world of thespians. Other celebrities competing include the winner of this year's Miss USA title, Alma Cooper. Some of you are probably aware, though, that this won't be the first time celebrities and or famous personalities have donned their running vests to take on a marathon. In fact, Alicia Keys, Gordon Ramsay, Chelsea Clinton, Kevin Hart, and Monica Puig are among those known to be marathon runners. Then, there are the three men who have run every Chicago marathon since 1977. Now in their 70s, they hadn't been inclined to break the streak. Randy Burt, who ate pepperoni pizza and drank red wine for dinner the night before his first race, learned his lesson. Now, 45 Chicago marathons later, Burt is training for his 46th race. Burt is among just two other runners in this year's race who can say they've run every Chicago marathon since it began. George Muller, 76, of Chicago's Streeterville neighborhood, and Henry Kozlowski, 74, of Wilmette, also were among the 4,200 runners in the city's inaugural race through Chicago streets in 1977. Like Burt, Mueller and Kozlowski also had unpleasant first-time experiences, but they've all learned a lot since that first race, adopting some new routines to make their impressive streak possible. George Muller, Randy Burt, and Henry Kozlowski are a shining example of the spirit of the marathon, as they have run every Chicago marathon since its inception," said the race's executive director, Carrie Pinkowski, in a statement. Their dedication to the race is a testament to the power of setting goals and working tirelessly to achieve them. Sadly, though, many Florida runners who had signed up for the Chicago Marathon found themselves facing the difficult decision of whether to bow out of the race for which they spent so much time training because of Hurricane Milton. The Chicago Marathon did send out emails to Florida runners offering them the chance to defer their entry in the race until 2025 free of charge. For those who would chose to sit this one out, they'll have another shot next year, just like this athlete will attempt to chase greatness next season.